Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So, Shomu sir, an interesting question today? Yeah, a cone frustum kind of question today. Uh, okay. Another cat problem, but uh, related to cones and frustum. So, let's just read the question first. So, we have a right circular cone of height 12 feet standing on its base, great, which has the diameter 8 feet. So, which matlab, base has the diameter 8 feet and the height of the cone is also known to us. The tip of the cone is cut off with a plane which is parallel to the base. So any kind of question related to that is uh, something we have discussed. I mean, when you do that, the top part will be a cone and the bottom part will be a frustum. That is known as a frustum. And uh, it's basically a concept of similarity. The top cone that is cut off will be similar to the original cone because of the symmetry of the figure. We are cutting it parallel to the base. And uh, it's cut off nine feet from the base. So nine feet from the base, meaning the height that is remaining in the lower part, that is nine feet, something like that. Uh, with pi equal to 22 by seven, I mean, the, the value has given to us. Uh, so with pi equal to 22 by seven, the volume in cubic feet of the remaining part of the cone. So this remaining part is a frust term. Even if you don't know, it is fine. You can apply similarity and figure it out, but uh, you have to apply similarity. At least you have to understand that there's a similar, similarity happening. So let me just draw the figure as appropriately as I can. Okay, so uh, just ignore this uh, this gap here. So uh, I've just drawn this so that the cutting thing is understandable. So originally, this entire thing is the is the original cone, uh, which has been cut off here, and uh, we get a cone which is at the top and a frustum below, something like this. So the original cone. So again, ignore the gap out here. Ignore this gap. So original cone has a height of 12 feet and the cutoff part. Okay, I just did the other way around, but anyhow, uh, just forget the scale out here. So this thing is nine feet and uh, this thing is three feet. I mean, this might seem a little silly, but ignore it. I mean, scale doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, this is what we have, right? And as I was saying, because of similar, I mean, because of the scaling thing that is happening. So uh, whatever the height has been scaled by, the base is also scaled by the same ratio, right? I mean, base radius or whatever, base diameter, whichever way you want to pick it up. So uh, this cone, uh, the small cone and the original cone should be similar to each other, right? So uh, just to indicate that, let me just write it in this way, the small cone and the original cone have their heights three and 12, which is basically in the ratio one is to four. Now, concept of similarity, if single dimensions, height is a single dimension, right? Height is measured in centimeter, meter, inches, something like that. In this case, feet. So if any kind of single dimension are in the ratio one is to four, then corresponding three dimension volume is what we are concerned with. So volume will be in the triplicate ratio. So cube of that. So it will be in the ratio one cube is to four cube, that is one is to 64. Meaning the small cone, that is the one above, has one by 64 volume of the original cone or what we are required to find the remaining part. So if we take off one sixty fourth of the volume, then the remaining part would be 63 by 64 times of the original cone, isn't it? We have taken off 1 by 64 of the original cone. So we are left off with 63 by 64. This is understandable. I hope 1 minus 1 by 64 of the original cone. So this is 63 by 64. Now just put the values here. We are looking for original cone. So the, uh, co the volume of a cone is what? It's one third of the volume of a cylind corresponding cylinder, right? So one third of pi r square h. So we have uh, 63 by 64 times one by three pi is supposed to be taken as 22 by seven for this into r square. Now r is the radius of the base, right? So diameter is eight feet. So this is the diameter. So the radius will be four. So four square is 16 into the height, which is 12 feet. Just resolve this. That's it. Three into seven is 21. Cancel off 21 with 63. You have left with three. Uh, so 16 has a four uh, or, or rather 16 into four from this is 64, right? So 16 into four, if I cancel out, 64 goes off. 
and that is what we have to evaluate. So we have three into twenty two into sorry, this will be three, right? My bad. Yeah. So we are cancelling sixteen into four, so we are left with three. So three into twenty two into three. So three into three is nine. Nine cross twenty two. So that is one ninety eight as our answer. Okay. This was nice. This was interesting one. Yeah, the, the calculation and everything, how you how you do it, that becomes important for this particular question. I mean, you might, I mean, you might use similarity, but still, you might actually figure out the uh, base radius of the smaller cone. You might figure out the volume of the smaller cone. You might calculate the volume of the original cone, then take a difference. That will be a little more calculated. If you resolve by similarity to this extent, uh, this part, then it becomes a little easy to calculate. That's all. Right, right. So, yeah, that's it from my end. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for this wonderful question. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. If you haven't yet checked the full playlist containing this video, then check the description for the direct link. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with our daily questions, tutorials, and problem solving sessions, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. In addition to our daily questions, we also offer comprehensive preparation for CAT and other management entrance tests. If you're looking to excel in these exams, we highly recommend checking out these courses in our website. To get a taste of what our courses have to offer, we invite you to take a free demo. The demo will give you a glimpse into the quality and effectiveness of our teaching methods, study materials, and practice resources. You can find the relevant links in the description of this video. Have a nice and successful preparation ahead. See you in the next one.